Right guys, welcome to day 30 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths. Keeping the math skills bubbling over while we can't be in school for year one and year two. Uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, 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 please be sat with an adult. Please um, have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Uh, and please join in, call out and, and uh, uh, take part. Okay, now there's an extra thing you need today because for the next week we're going to be looking at money. Can you make sure, uh, sorry, can you please, if possible, go and see if you can find some of these coins. You'll have to ask an adult's permission first. Don't go rage your brother's piggy bank. <laughs> so we need some 1Ps, some 2Ps, some 5Ps, some 10Ps, and maybe a 20P, okay? So a few of those, please, particularly these smaller ones you need, the 5s, the 2s, and the 1s, you need a few of those. So um, uh, pause the video and go find some of those, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, good job. Right, okay, leave them now. <laughs> Put the coins down to one side. Here we go. Right, we're going to start with some counting. Okay, uh, join in with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-four p. 18, 20, 22, 24, 24 p. You can see the value of the coins is shown here as well. Okay, let's try again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Okay, we're going to do that again, but this time I'm going to turn the numbers off. And guys, you're going to um, be counting, uh, but uh, I won't be counting if that makes sense. And you're going to tell me the value at the end of all the coins altogether. Hmm. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Okay. Turn to your partner. What's the value of those coins? Yes, fantastic. Sixteen p. Okay. Let's try again. Hmm. 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 Turn to your partner. What's the value of those coins? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm not. We're not counting in twos anymore. What's the value now? Yes, good job, 13p. Because I was counting in twos, now I'm counting in ones. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, let's go to fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, let's go again. I'll turn the thingy off this time. Hmm, 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 hmm. Mm -hmm. ah, stop there. What's the value of that there? How much have we got? Yeah, fantastic. You know what's quite interesting about this though is it's like. Uh, let me just pause the video and for me a minute. I'm just going to go and get. A... Sorry, I paused my recording there. Uh, right, so it's like five. How many have we got? Hold on. Five times five. That's five ten. 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The same skills, knowing your times tables, can tell you how much is the value of this, how much is this worth um, for finding the total. Okay, let's go again. Five. Oops, sorry, in my head. <laughs> <laughs> What's the value of that there? I'm just counting them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How much do you think there was? Let's have a look. Let's do. Oh, I hit pressing the wrong one. Let's do far. Oh, sorry. Five times eight. I did it wrong again. What's wrong with me? Five times eight. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. If I knew that five times eight was forty, I could just look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight fives, forty. Use your times tables a lot when you're um, uh, as as repeated addition. The five add 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 five. Use that a lot uh, when using money. Okay, let's try another one. Five. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, you draw, you call out. I'll just do, I'll not say it out loud. Hmm. 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 Okay, how much is there there? 
Okay, I'm not going to reveal it yet. Let me just count how many there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 11. And if I knew, if I knew uh, my 5 times table, I would know that 5 times 11 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. I would know that that was... Uh, Five at 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 five, which is fifty-five p. You can so when you're paying for, if you go to the shops and they say that's fifty-five p, please, madam, then you can if if you just had a pocket full of five p's, well, you you'll be very have very heavy pockets, but you'll be able to pull these out and just pay quickly without counting them up, which is very handy. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to start with. 3p and we're just going to keep adding tens we'll do 10 more each time it's a bit like when we start here hang on let's get this all white shall we when we start here and we keep adding 10 each time okay it's going to be the same idea so we're on 3p so the first one is going to be the one that catches you out hang on we've got three at the minute the first one's going to be the one that catches you out so three 13 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93. Year twos, what's going to happen if I add another 10p now? What's it going to be? Let's just have a look on here. Uh, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93 is where we got to, didn't we? 93. What's the next one going to be? 103. Year twos, you probably know that 103, 100 pence is actually the same as one pound. So we put this little dot in here, this little decimal point, that's one pound and three pence. But you could also say 103 pence. It's both the same thing, same the same value. Okay, let's have a look at something else. Oh, actually, no, before we do that, let's do let's just have a look at this first you can make a value with different coins so if i need to go pay 10p in the shops i don't have to have a 10p coin i could have a five and a five or i could have a five and a five like that or i could have a four and a six four and six let's do some tricks or i could have let's have a look five six seven eight eight and two two and eight feeling great or i could have pile these up I'm making a mess there oh, i just got rid of it <laughs> oh i did it again oh dear i'm making a right mess of that sorry guys i'm so sorry uh two four six eight eight and two or i could get rid of that one eight and two again or i could have um nine and one this number hasn't changed every time there's so many different ways of making um totals um making amounts in with money so it's very useful to know so what i'm going to do now is we're going to look at this part part whole and year ones i would like you to use the coins that you've got to come up with five ways of paying 10p so you could do five and five and then work from there or you could be uh, systematic in a different way you could do um excuse me take those off that was a silly thing to do you could start with nine and one okay and then work your way off from that so come up with five ways of paying 10p year ones year twos you've got the same idea you could start with 10 and 10 okay or you could work from um 19 and one so all the ways you can uh, make of making 20p and you could draw around them and fill them in, um, write the numbers on them, the values on them. Don't forget the p's. OK, so do that. Uh, pause the video and have a go at that. Ten, uh, year one's 10p, year two's ways of making 20p. Off you go. OK, good job, guys. Right now, now I'm going to have a look at another thing now. We've got I went to the shops and I bought. Uh, I bought um, a rocket for three p. So I put my rocket on here. Here's my rocket. 
very cheap rocket. And then I bought uh, a bag of sweets for the bag. Of, there's lots of sweets in there. A bag of sweets for five p. What's the value of what I bought altogether? Five add three. So we're doing five add three, which we know is eight p. Okay. Let's do another one. I went to the shops and I bought um, I bought a, a bag of sweets for 10p and I bought um, a pencil for 5p how much did I spend all together yeah 15p good job okay we're adding two amounts here guys okay I went to the shops and I spent oh, move this along. I went to the shops and I bought um, a plastic watch for four p and I bought a bag of chips for eleven p how much did I spend altogether eleven add four how much did I spend yes fifteen p good job if you said fifteen p brilliant guys okay now let's go and have a look at this this game is called pay for it and there's two different parts to it there's a paying game and there's a giving change game. we're not doing giving change yet let's um, have a look at the paying game there's lots of tricky levels on here uh, I'm gonna start just with the paying up to 10p you're the customer you have to scan the items and pay for it with the right money okay so um, he sounds very handsome uh, so you scan the item the picture comes up in the screen it tells you what its value is the value is 7p okay and I've got to find a way of paying 7p how would you pay 7p you could do that with your coins now yeah, I'm gonna do it with a five and a two five six seven and then we press check thank you okay oh cool airplane by plane nice 10p how would you pay 10p I'm going to do it with twos, I think. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oops, you've given me too much. Oh, sorry, I went too far. So if I go too far, I can just take that off and put it back in the hand. All right, this, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Ten, sorry. Fantastic. Do the next one. Seven P, some apple juice for seven P. How could you pay seven P? I'm going to do two, four, six, and then one. Got to scan it. Oh, muscle car. I got seven p again. Do you know I think I'm going to go harder. I'm going to go. Let's go to the main menu. Let's go paying game. Let's go paying up to fifteen p. You're the customer. Bit more you have to scan the items and pay for it with the right money. Okay. Oh, super jet. How would you pay fifteen p? Make it with your coins. Yeah, I think I'd do it with a ten and a five. Ten and five is fifteen. Is that how you did it? Well done if you came up with a different way. That is brilliant. Thank you. Oh wow, look at that. That's a cool car. Fifteen P again. Oh, let's find a different way of paying fifteen P. I think I'm going to go 5, 10, 15. If you play this game later, if you get the same amount, find a different way of doing it. Okay, oh, an electric oil well van. 8p, the value is 8p. How could you pay 8p? You make that with your money for me. Yeah, I, do, I think I would do... I think I'm counting twos. Two, four, six, eight. But I don't have to do it that way. Let's do it a different way. Different way. I could do five, add two, add one. Different ways. Let's have a look. Strawberries. Uh, strawberries. <laughs> Tomatoes. Twelve p. This is funny, really. What's interesting is with um, lots of teachers use money when we're teaching place value because. That one there, that actually means 10. That two, that actually means two ones, two. 
So one, you've got a 110 and you've got two ones. Um, so money is quite useful for learning the value of, um, of each place uh, position in, in place value. It's quite, sorry, I'll shut up. Oh, Chinook. I used to get flights in those when I was little. Okay. Oh, 10p. Okay, I'm going to do 10p. Find a different way. Don't just pay with the 10p coin. Do something different. What have you got? Make me 10p. Yeah, I saw you doing it with the 10p coin. Somebody else. Somebody else is doing it differently. Yeah, I'm going to do a 5 and a 2 and a 2 and a 1. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Ah, oh, pile of puppies. Oh, they're so cheap. I've got to have them. How could you pay 13p? You make it with your coins. How are you going to pay 13p? Okay, I think I do. Uh, I'm going to do a 5 and a 5 to make the 10. And, and then I'm going to do a 2 to make it up to 12. And a 1, make it 13. Okay. Guys, you don't want to just watch me doing this. You need to have a go at this, don't you? So, please, can you have a go with um, the pay for it game? So, from the menu, choose the paying game. And you can try the 10p or the 15p or the 20p. I should stick to level 1, 2 or 3 at the minute. Okay, uh, for that, that's for year 1s, definitely stick to those. Year 2s. You know, I'm um, perhaps level three and level four at the most, just for now. Um, get yourself uh, overlearn it. Get yourself to the point where you you can't get it wrong. You know, you get it right every time. Okay, and then if you get the same, if you get asked for the same amount, do it a different way. Use different coins. You've got to sort of get your brain to the point where you can work it out lots of different ways. Okay, so today, well done today, um, guys. You did brilliantly. Today's prize is your uh, kitchen table or your dining table is. It turns over when you press a button and then it turns into grass and rivers and little tiny trees and hills and little castles but also tanks you've got a tank battle tiny weeny tanks little tanks uh, all driving around and you can play against your brother or your sister okay good job guys see you next time